What's good weebs? Today I am here to help you decide if Mashal Magic and Muscles is worth watching. Now when it comes to watching anime, I have very very bad ADHD, so I need to be sure I'm watching something I'm really really going to enjoy. And by enjoy, I mean like not watching at like 1.5 speed. So I am judging this review based on only the first two episodes of Mashal Magic and Muscles so I can help you save as much of your time as possible for more of that good old anime gooning. Let's go over the pros. If there's one thing wrong with a ton of anime, it's world building and getting to the world building within the first season. Now, Mashal does an excellent job at just throwing you in the world, expecting you to know what's up and immersing you very, very fast, uh, going from his home in the forest to Easton, the magic university enrolls in. Mashal also wastes zero time getting to the main plot of the story. They throw you right in, Mashal gets in trouble, and then it's like, here's the deal, viewers, enjoy. Tell me if you like it or hate it. Either way, I don't care, it's happening. Also, now if you don't know what Mashal is about, it's about this guy named Mash, who's like a giga chad, but unfortunately he's born into a world where magic rules, and all he has to rely on is his strength and his muscles, and I'm talking like Giga Chad muscles, okay? The next pro is characters. Now let's just focus on our main guy, which is Mash Burn Dead. Yes, Burn Dead. Uh. Mash is a very similar character type to, I think it'll be easy to compare him to Mob from Mob Psycho 100. He's got the, I mean, they've both got the same bowl haircut going on, looking dashing. He's very soft-spoken. He's very uninterested in the things that most people are interested in, um, aka a hipster. And he really, really only cares about a couple things. Fitness, his dad, cream puffs. Great! So it's hard to dislike MASH at within the first couple episodes, which I think is a very, very important thing when kind of gaining affection for an anime. The next pro I want to talk about is tone. Now, the tone of an anime is very important because if you're trying to save time when watching anime or perusing new anime, you kind of want to base it a lot on ones you've enjoyed before. And I would say Mashal very much gives a vibe of like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Season 1 and Mob Psycho 100. Uh, maybe with a dash of like uh, My Hero Academia vibe, which I, I feel like is a very, very accessible tone to many anime watchers, especially if you're looking for a more lighthearted kind of drive, but can easily take a serious side backstreet in tone very, very quickly when it needs to, but it's not usually the main focus of the overall anime. Now let's talk about some of Mashal's cons. I don't feel like overall I have many cons so far from the first two episodes of Mashal, but I will say if you are a dub watcher as opposed to a sub watcher, don't do it. Personally, I, and I don't know if maybe it's just been I've been watching only sub for so long now that it's, I, I can't enjoy dub as well anymore, but the dub for this one just, it, it has something that I, I can't put my finger on, but I'm just gonna classify it as really freaking annoying. The characters, their voices, their tone, especially. So I watched this, the first two episodes in sub, and then I watched them in dub. Wow. And in sub, very, very, very easy. Everyone seems like they fit in super well. But then when you get to episode two, especially in dub, Claude's voice, who's a character you'll meet and probably despise, is so annoying, which might be purposeful, but it's just unbearable. Then it's multiple characters. MASH as well. Their character, their voice just... It, it gets this different tone that makes you almost feel uninterested. Like they're, them being kind of like over it makes you feel over it and overall just doesn't create a good vibe. Uh, so I'm not here for the dub of Mashal. So is Mashal magic and muscles worth watching? Yes, yes, absolutely. I think it's an extremely accessible anime that shonen watchers can enjoy, people enjoy comedy can enjoy, people that like good fight scenes can enjoy an action, and it, the list go, like goes on and on. I, I, I would find it more hard to not enjoy this. I feel like it does, it, it lends itself to being accessible in the way that like One Punch is kind of accessible. Um, so all in all, I would say if you're looking for a new anime to try, that's fun and uh, kitschy and a good time, a good laugh with great fight scenes, check out Mashal, Magic and Muscles. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can see when my videos are popping up all times. And until the next video, 
I'll see y'all in the future.